younger man, he can, he can run around. I really condemn all this misuse of force in a, a situation which needs a dialogue. And we must discover who is it in the Sudan situation who is pursuing illegitimate aims, aims which are not principled. Who is it? We can't just go on, 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 on over issues. When people are dying, these wars don't, don't only kill people, but they also kill the future of the people. Somebody has built up a small business in Khartoum or Kampala, or what? then you start a war. What happens to his business? Are you going to compensate him? Or they, or they will now go to start afresh when they had already built up some, some capacity. And then the fourth point is what, we have been, what I, I, I asked General Burhan when he came here. But when will you have elections? Because really that is the, the, the medicine for political issues. The country does not belong to the Sudan army, does not belong to this rapid something, something. It belongs to the people of Sudan. They are there. I don't know how many there are now, 40 something. If you have got a political dispute, why don't you ask them to, to help you resolve? Because this is their country. The, the idea of a high level delegation, I support it. But I also support immediate ceasefire and disengagement of forces. There should be no renewed fighting in the town, in that town. Then they can handle these, these other issues and that high power delegation will assist in contributing ideas so that we stop this really tragedy and mockery of African independence. People, we were, our, our elders were fighting for independence for a better future, not for endless, endless mishandling of the people's affairs. I, I propose General Salva Kir to head the team because he speaks Arabic. Some yeah. of us can't follow Arabic and he knows those people very well. And I, I, I propose His Excellency Ruto because he, he's a younger man, he can, he can run around than we old men. Then I propose the president of Djibouti, uh, because being a Muslim, we can follow up what those Muslims are thinking. These are my three proposals. Thank you very much, Excellency. Thank you so much. So this is... Uh, I support the proposal of His Excellency Ruto that if we have the numbers now, we call for an extraordinary summit, even if it is on virtual like now, so that we resolve the issue of the leadership. I totally agree with that. Now, on the second issue of what to be done now, our points person, our, our leader now, General Salva Kir, should, should engage the two groups from now. Tell them what we, are, we have discussed here and see whether they can listen to us. I think that will be the, the, the immediate work because he, he, he should be the one to contact them on our behalf and tell them what we have decided. This is a testament to how concerned our leaders. Because he's a younger man, he can, he can...